feel in complete control of your life, of your career, of your company? Do you know exactly where it is you're heading? And do you know how fast you're heading towards that end? All the awards tonight have been sponsored by Tesco. As one of the world's largest retailers employing 530,000 people in 12 countries, Tesco is uniquely placed to lead this celebration of the entrepreneurial energy that exists in the region. If you love your motors and love good value, believe in spending a little to live a lot, then this is the show for you. Welcome to the Used Car Roadshow. When considering buying a new set of wheels, you'll probably start by looking in a magazine like this or on the internet, and you'll notice that there are two different types of sellers. There's trade and there's private. But sadly, private isn't always what it seems. Believe it or not, there are people out there selling privately all day long who want to rip us off. Manufacturers got round the government stipulation of a 10% average discount on cars by offering huge reductions on cars that didn't sell and tiny reductions on cars that did. A standard latch system on each car seat attaches to a universal buckle on every car and that makes them much easier to fit. <laughs> Blue Motion technology is a range of energy saving, fuel efficient technologies designed to deliver outstandingly good fuel consumption and reduced CO2 emissions, which is all great for the environment. Car manufacturers have switched from solvent based paints to water based paints for environmental reasons. However, water based paints allow dirt and pollution to get into the pores of the paint, and it's then that the paint gets attacked by everything that the road can throw at it. And for those of you who want it, there's an opportunity to gain a recognised qualification, a certificate in automotive retail management. This award is jointly offered by the Institute of the Motor Industry and the Chartered Management Institute. Well, that was a day in the life of the Mallory household, and I have to say the Focus C-Max has been a bit of a hit. We've chucked everything at it and it's still come up trumps. If I'm perfectly honest, the C-Max has never been on my wish list of cars, as I'm sure it hasn't been for a lot of people. But having lived with it for 24 hours, I have completely changed my mind. So a pretty impressive lineup. I'm sure Lily has her favourite now, as do I. And I do know that having driven all four, that they lose nothing to their saloon counterparts in terms of luxury, refinement or performance. It's quite clear that none of these brands are going to give up any of their market share to Jaguar without a fight. So you knowing the competition inside out is going to be key. 